What about the children? That thought suddenly crossed her mind when she happened to see Kurenai cradling her baby in the hospital. The children, who hadn't taken part directly in the war, might have been uninjured physically, but what about their minds? Wouldn't the fighting and the unforeseeable end have placed a huge stress on their young minds? They saw their country in ruins around them. They learned of the deaths of people who close to them. Wouldn't this have scarred their souls? Sakura began collecting data on the people coming to the hospital and found that a large number of children who came in after the war complained of poor health, but nothing could be found physically wrong with them. I can't just leave them like this. Children were the village's treasures, as the third Hokage, Hiruzen, used to say. Older ninja carved these words into their hearts as a kind of collective understanding. Sakura first discussed the idea of setting up a specialized organization within the hospital and creating a structure to provide care for children's mental health with her mentor, Tsunade. I think it's a good idea, Tsunade had remarked. Take the lead on this, Sakura, and move forward with it. With her mentor at her back, Sakura started making the preparations, securing the training personnel for this new organization, cooperating with Konoha Hospital and laying the groundwork, and then developing a budget. There were far too many things for Sakura to do them all by herself. But her old classmate, Yamanaka Inu, brought help. You really have a surprisingly serious side. You try to carry it all on your own, and it's just sad when you pop. With Inu's help and six months of preparation, Sakura managed to open the children's therapy center. They soon started to see steady and strong results. The presentation they had attended that day was the numerical representation of these results. It's all because of your help, you know. Thanks. When you get your bonus, take me out to dinner. Eno said lightly. Sakura erupted into laughter. How about we get some tea? Eno asked once they were outside. Sakura clapped her hands together apologetically in front of her face. Sorry, I have some papers I want to sort through today. Next time, all right? Got it, Eno said, but there was a hint of worry in her face. Her eyes were asking if Sakura wasn't working too hard. Sakura pretended she hadn't seen this and waved her hand. See you. She started off down the market street by herself. Although it was early in the afternoon, the town was bustling. The piled up snow had completely melted away. All of a sudden, it was spring. The people hurrying to and fro were free from their heavy coats. Huh? Sakura? Abruptly, she heard a voice from behind, a voice she knew well. Naruto! Hinata! Turning around, she saw the two of them walking toward her dressed in street clothes. What's this? A date? Yup. For once, we're both off duty, Naruto said. <laughs>